Officer Rachel Mills had seen her fair share of crime in her 10 years on the force, but this case felt different. A string of petty thefts had plagued her small community, and the suspect, a young man named Leo, had become a familiar name in her reports. He was known for his charm, but his actions were causing frustration among the community. One day, as Rachel patrolled the downtown area, she noticed a small group gathered around the favorable spin-offs Christian ministry store. Curious, she parked her cruiser and walked over. The ministry was known for helping those in need, and the prayer box and journal they provided were tools for the community to share their burdens and prayers. She took a look inside one of the large prayer box on display and found a card addressed to the thief in need of hope. It was a simple note, encouraging the reader to seek redemption and a better path. Intrigued, Rachel picked up the prayer box, scrolled through entries and wondered, but the one addressed to the thief stood out. Leo had written about his struggles with temptation and his desire to change. Feeling a tug at her heart, Rachel decided to pay Leo a visit. She found him sitting on a bench in the park, his head hung low. Leo, she said softly. He looked up, surprised to see her. I know things haven't been easy for you. He shrugged, a mix of defiance and vulnerability in his eyes. What do you care? I'm just a thief. Rachel took a deep breath. I found something at the ministry today. Your entry in the prayer box, it made me realize that you want to change. You don't have to keep living like this. Leo shifted uncomfortably. I don't know if I can. I've messed up too many times. Change is never easy, but there's support out there, she said, pointing toward the ministry. They want to help you. Maybe it's time to take that first step. He looked at her, uncertainty clouding his face. Why would you help me? I'm just a criminal. Because everyone deserves a chance, Rachel replied. And you're more than your mistakes. After a long pause, Leo nodded slowly. I'll think about it. Over the next few weeks, Rachel checked in with Leo. They talked about his goals, his dreams, and the burdens he carried. He began visiting the ministry where he found not just support, but a sense of community he had longed for. One afternoon, Leo sat down with Rachel after a prayer meeting. I'm trying to do better, he said, his voice steadier. I even got a job at a local shop. Rachel smiled, feeling a sense of pride for him. That's amazing, Leo. Keep it up. It won't be easy, but you're on the right path. As the months passed, Leo continued to turn his life around. He no longer wore the label of a thief. Instead, he became a source of inspiration for others in the community who struggled. Rachel remained his ally, showing him that redemption was not just possible, but real. Through a simple prayer box and the courage to change, a police officer and a young man found common ground, proving that compassion and understanding could break the cycle of crime and despair.